familiar with these types of problems. So again, here we have geometric mean, okay, um, altitude being geometric mean between this part and this part. So then the geometric mean is going to go here and here between these two numbers, x and 8. So 8x equals 9. x is equal to 9 over 8. And then for the y, um, again, you can use the same concept, the theorem that says this is the geometric mean between the whole thing and then this part. Or we can use Pythagorean theorem. So let's go ahead and just use Pythagorean theorem this time. Okay, so then um, a squared, leg squared, plus the other leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So 3 squared plus 8 squared equals y squared. 3 squared is 9 plus 64 is equal to y squared. 73 equals y squared y equals square root of 73 and you can just leave it like that that does not simplify uh, the next one okay so same thing um, this is the geometric mean between this part and that part so then 12 12 geometric mean between a and x. So 8x is equal to 144. Divide the 8. x is equal to um, 18. And then here, To find the y, same thing. We're going to say that this, we know that since this is 18, we can say that um, Pythagorean theorem, 12 squared plus 18 squared is equal to y squared. Or we can use a theorem. Let's just use a theorem. So y, y, that's the geometric mean between the whole thing. 18 plus 8 is 26. That's the whole thing, right? This whole thing would be 26. And then this part that's close to it is 18. So then those are my extremes. And then my means would be this. So y squared is equal to, You can just use your calculator for this part. So it's 26 times 18, which is 468. And then y is equal to square root of 468. And again, just you can just use your calculator to simplify that out. Okay? So that's it for this lesson. Okay, thank you for watching educator.com.